So, uh, what are we gonna do tonight, OCG? Why, the same thing we tried to do every night, but take over the world. I mean, uh, Twitch, uh, take over Twitch. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash fuck totem badger. And this is my review, for I am the Hero. So my friends, I am the Hero was released for the PlayStation 4 and other machines of the gaming variety in 2017. Now, stop me if you've heard this before, dear viewer. We play as Hero. Just Hero. He has no other name. And basically, to take down an evil corporation, we must traverse seven stages that take place in the streets. A subway station, a hospital, etc, etc. Beating up everyone in our path. Commoners. Bosses. That's right, dear viewer. This is yet another beat-em-up in the vein of 10,000 other beat-em-ups. You know, as a little aside, I am looking forward to the prequel of this game. I am the anti-hero, where we play as the aforementioned anti-hero who will rescue a woman from a tree before proceeding to cut said tree down and urinate on it. There will be a boss fight here against Greenpeace, who disapproving of our anti-hero's abuse of said tree, will decide to kill him. Our anti-hero will go down in a blaze of glory, but not before taking each member of Greenpeace with him. Now, getting back to I am the hero. I am the hero is what we call a retro-inspired game. So, how does one identify a retro-inspired game? Well, <laughs> it's quite simple, dear viewer. Does the game look like us, but people call it pixel art? Does it borrow liberally from games of the 1980s and 90s, like Streets of Rage or Golden Axe? Does the music sound like it was composed by a man wearing sunglasses on a Casio keyboard? Does it take you longer to use the bathroom than the time it takes to finish the game? Does the game have a budget of 63 pence? Now, if you answered yes to any of those questions, then you are indeed playing a retro-inspired game. Here endeth the lesson. On another aside, I am rather looking forward to the sequel to this game. I am the villain, where we play as a man hell-bent on world domination. No, it will not be a Donald Trump simulator. But, he will appear in the game as the boss of the sixth level, Trump Towers. Other notable boss fights will be against Harvey Weinstein in a level entitled Casting Couch. And Kevin Spacey in a level entitled Lock Up Your Sons. So, apart from making Albeit oh, hilarious jokes, what can I tell you about the game? I am the hero. Well, the music in this game sounds like the mating ritual of a Sega Genesis and a Sega Mega Drive. Which is bizarre, because they are, for all intents and purposes, the same thing. So, 
That would be like siblings making love. What I'm trying to tell you badly is the music in this game sounds like Mega Drive music. And that's a good thing in my book. On another aside, just while I'm on a little row with these other games addressing this franchise, I am rather looking forward to the spin-off for this game. I am the sidekick, where we play as Dudley, a man who suffers from anxiety, erectile dysfunction, a weak bladder. We will follow him from humble beginnings in his mother's basement to that fateful night he meets our hero for the first time after accidentally running him over with his car. With our hero in a coma, it will be up to Dudley to save the city from the villain. Will Dudley succeed or will he just shit his pants? I guess we'll find out when the game releases. Now, moving on. The gameplay in I Am The Hero is like Streets of Rage making love to Double Dragon. Which is bizarre because they are, for all intents and purposes, the same game. So that would be like relatives making love. What I'm trying to say badly, is that this game plays a lot like Streets of Rage. And that's a good thing in my book. I think I need help. Yes. So, there's really nothing I can tell you about this game that you don't already know if you have ever played a retro beat-em-up. I Am The Hero does nothing new with this formula. Is it fun? Very. Will I remember it after I upload this review? Uh, not likely. Should you play it? Uh... Therefore, I am going to score I Am The Hero a 6 out of 10. So, not a great game. But, I am looking forward to the remake starring Samuel L. Jackson. I am the hero, motherfucker. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my review for I am the hero. If you've enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Feel free to hit that like button bell button thingy. Jump over to my Twitch if you are so inclined to see some hilarious streams. But remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, that is to always stay obsessed with Jimmy. Yeah.